We'll secure the castle. You just get to their map. Kill their leader. Has a you chest. just get to their master. Where'd you come from? Serana, my darling. I see you still favor keeping a pet. You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken <laughs> everything I... <laughs> ...provided for you and thrown it all away for this. Being. Provided for me? You're insane. You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch her. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. It, is. it appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before she'd return with hatred in her heart. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Yes, yes. Always the noble vampire hunter. And what happens when you've slain me? Is Valerica next? Is Serana? Ah, of course. 
to prophecy. You've come here to stop me from taking Ariel's bow and shrouding the world in darkness. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. Very well, then. You leave me no choice. It's done. I'm not sure. I'll probably stay with the Dawn Guard for as long as they'll let me. They're respectable fighters, and I think they see the benefits of having a vampire on their side now. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned, that's what I wanted to hear. It's over. He's dead. And the prophecy. with 
with him. I... I suppose this is difficult for you. I think my father really died a long time ago. This was just... the end of something else. I did what needed to be done. Nothing more. I think perhaps. I think you did more than that. You have my thanks. So, the beast destroyed. Not only that. Speak to me. Anything new? You know, I could probably enchant it better.
If you need anything else, just ask. been a lot of changes, mostly in here. Some new mods, old mods for new mods. I have added the A. Let's see. Here. A. Witcher Swords. I think it'd be stronger. Oh well. 
Must be my imagination. Yep. What was that? Is someone there? I cannot best you. Snow in my eye. How the hell's that invested in the house? and walk in an average lifetime. How many steps does it take to reach their final destination, I wonder?
Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Very well. I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You must understand, if Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. Dear sister, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. No objections then? Good. Go now, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Go, quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. When one can divine the future, success may not be assured, but it can at least be anticipated. It helps that I've already foretold my own death. I 
Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. What about you, hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do, hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero... always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. Speak to you, for you are the one. Uh... Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones. Uh, I give constant. you this task. Journey to Wallenrod. Speak. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises. When silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? Treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener. She... She said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know, Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then, it's true, she's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. She has chosen you! <laughs> All hail the listener! <laughs> My Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to her. To the listener. What? The listener? 
What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Please tell me you haven't. Cicero said he spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrood, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. So many contracts, so little time. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. He's a vampire, and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. <laughs> 